What's up everyone, it's time to welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl. Last time, we took on the Eterna City Gym Leader Gardenia, the user of grass type Pokemon. Won ourselves, if I can show it real quick on my trainer card, the Forest Badge. It's already darkened because in order to dark shine badges in this game, you literally have to do what you did in the original game and shine them on the screen with a stylus or your finger. I recommend getting a screen protector if you're going to be doing either of these. I will only be doing it at the end just to show you what they look like, all clean and looking good. My Pokemon thing is docked though, so I can't really do that. Um, and we also went over to Team Galactic's building over here in Eterna City, one of their one of their places called Team Galactic. Eterna Building. We want your Pokemon and rescued Rad Rickshaw, the cycle shop owner of Eterna City, from the second commander, Jupiter. This time we are going to going to see what Rad Rickshaw has for us at his own cycle shop and see what he says. What you got, man? See what you give us. Thank you for rescuing me. I can't thank you enough. So, let's say, let me give you a bike to show you my gratitude. Please come with me for a moment. He's going to then explain the bikes to us. Please pay attention because this is very important. I'd like you to choose a color for your bike. Which one will it be? This is not what I'm talking about, but I'm going to go yellow because that's my favorite of those. And I'm an electromagnetic cube, so there you go. Do you want a yellow bike? Yes, I do. Marvelous, you've chosen a shocking yellow. Once glance almost feels like getting a zap from Pikachu. No, it doesn't. It's perfect for you. You obtained the bike. Let's see if he does it in this game or if they fix that. In the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift gears, it says. In third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but will be easier to handle. In fourth gear, it can ride at full speed and climb up slopes. The bike can take it up through all sorts of towns, roads, and routes. Now get out there and ride. So in, in the original third generation, so not the remakes, I believe, Ride your bike from the back of the cabin, plug your press B button to speed up your movement and control. Alright. I will tell you this right now, that was the wrong button. If you go to your bag, you can do this. I did this off camera, not sure if I did it on camera, but if we go to the key items pocket and go to the bike, as you can see I have the Explorer kit registered. If you press, if you only have one thing registered, whenever you press the plus button on your Joy-Con, on your red Joy-Con, or your right Joy-Con, depending on if you have colors or not, then your Pokemon will, um, your game will ask you if you want to use that specific item if there's only one registered. However, since I have two registered, if we press, if we press a, uh, gosh dang, I forgot how to register things, I'm not gonna lie guys, this is different from the DS, there was no plus button. <laughs> nope. Let's press A, register, there we go. And we'll move it to the side, yeah, right there. So since I only had the Explorer Kit registered, whenever I wanted to use an item, it would just ask me to use the Explorer Kit, because, you know, it's kind of obvious that I don't have things registered, but how do I get off my bike? How do I get off my bike? I think I just have to press the plus button, go to the side, and it gets me off it. That's how register works. Now, if we tried to go down, um, if we tried to go beyond Eternity City before now, these, there's a clerk here that said, wait, is this it? This is Route 206. Yeah, it all the way. Okay, so in the original game, it would say, "Please get on your bike to enter Cycling Road." You cannot enter without it. Basically, stuff like that. But now, since we have the bike automatically, it just automatically puts you on it. Welcome to Route 206, which is called Cycling Road. If we are to go down, this is a downward slope, and there are trainers on it. Keep that in mind when doing this. Hey, you having a good time cycling? You bet I am. I did do some digging off ground, did get some things I'm going to need for the future of this game and for the future of this playthrough because, like I said, I'm trying to build a strong team. My team is by no means perfect. I kind of had fun with it, really. But we're going to just keep on going with it. We're going to keep on going. There are some moves I'm going to need hard skills for. Hard skills allow you in the later in the game to remember moves that you've forgotten. And some Pokemon evolve at certain levels, like, you know, literally anything. So keep that in mind. It, it, that, is, that is how that is going to work. Then a shock right here. Does double damage if the target's poison. I did half. Double T. Uh, is he one of these guys where like it's like hard in, so I just can't hit you enough to do damage, or I just can't hit you at all? Because both of that is equally annoying. <laughs> Mana shock. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can do in this. Actually, I think we're gonna be able to catch a new party member by the end of this episode, which I'm very excited about. Very, very excited. One of my all-time favorite Pokemon from the fourth generation, introduced in the fourth generation. Cyclops Axles have been defeated. Hey, not bad, you. 816 for winning. Okay, I actually do want to try something real quick. That's not what I meant to press. X, X, X. There we go. Bag. Okay, let's see. I think I have the wrong thing equipped to my Maruga because I think it has the Dread Plate and it doesn't have a, it has Bite right now. So I don't think that's going to be actually effective. 
Let's see, where are my items at? My plates, at least. Alright, here we are. Other items, pockets. Glass, toxic. Yes, stone tablet with the boost the power of poison type moves we're gonna give to Maruga. And Stread Plate, yes, because it has been a shock, and I would like that to do more damage. Bonsai also had a Petra Berry, because the Pokemon that uh, I was fighting for Jupiter had is able to poison you. Because it doesn't have that anymore, we can now switch it out back to its Quick Claw, which is also in the other items pocket. Also found some rocks down there. These rocks uh, do the same thing, depending on what they are. You've got the Quick Claw right here. I need to give that to Bonsai. So, yes, I do. The Smooth Rock is the... Um, it raises us, it raises Sandstorm, Heat Dust, Sunny Day, and Rain Dance is for, our Hail Hail is for Icy, and the other one we have not found yet is the, uh, the, what is the water one, it raises, a uh, water type, it raises the effectiveness of Rain Dance. So we've got some trainers right here, like this one right here. Some, they're not all required, keep that in mind, you can skip, I think, I think every single one, if not, I think there's only one you have to battle, there's certainly be like three or four trainers on here, keep that in mind. Tycoon Road is very short, every, uh, just about every game has one, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so there are some trainers of interest on here. I just forget where they are, like I said. But now that Maruga has the Toxic Plate, should do double damage with Venishock. It should power it up. I don't think it completely does double damage, but this is this is effective on it, so it's obviously going to be good. Venishock. Venishock is not going to be my only poison type move on this Pokemon. It's going to be the only at the. It's not going to be the the one I use for poison type moves, because like as you progress through the game and get different TMs, you want to build teams that. For one, can take can deal can you know effectively um, null types and wall them. Number two, you want to have teams that basically can deal with other types that they're weak to. Maruga's is um a, is a poison type, so it's weak to what is poison weak to? Steel, yeah, it, yeah, steel. But it's gonna have a it's gonna be able to have a move that is able to deal with steel in the future. So I'm um, I'm probably gonna cut these battles out. I'm gonna do them off camera, but. Keep in mind, these battles are always open, so you don't really have to worry about them. But like I said, um, Maruga is going to get a fire type move by the end of the journey. And by that, I mean before before the journey is over, aka before I challenge the Elite Four. We got a Ponyta. The problem is it's also a bug type, so it's weak to fire. But uh, there's no water move on it. But the, when it evolves, it's still, I think it's still, give me a second, go. Sorry about that. I, I wrote down my notes, so keep that in mind when you're making YouTube videos and you want to do a playthrough. Notes are effective. Um, let's see here, Drapion, and the evolved form of it is um, let's see here, is a poison dark type. So it actually does lose its bug typing when it does evolve. So fire is no longer going to be a problem, but um, other types are. So I have, but I do have moves to prepare for them. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I don't think I think Venishock is normally effective, the same as Bite. So Bite is also going to be our Dark move on it. I don't know if we're going to have a Dark move on it by the end. I don't think we are. It's just that I want to deal with types better than I, I'm used to. So let's use Bite. Ponyta is also very fast. Keep that in mind. And it raises its speed. And it, yeah, okay. Bite, and we are good. Yeah, keep that in mind. This is a trainer of interest. If you did not see a Ponyta back on Orberg City, you didn't. You can do it now. Cyclist like James. My efforts were meaningless. Yeah, they need 16 for winning. Are they just like? Are they have like they have one of those people that like they do transfers with their debit cards and they're just all the same. I want to battle you though. Come on, let me battle you. That's the problem with Cyclist Rose that is downhill. So keep that in mind. Come on. Pokemon 2, I don't want to lose to you. Oh, I probably should have healed up. Never mind. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. So, Cyclist Nicole here would like to battle. So, yeah, keep that in mind. If you're trying to build a team, you want to look at what moves the Pokemon you want can learn and see if you can develop a well-rounded team that can deal with every type. Now, I'm not saying they deal with every type, but deal with types that you're going to be weak to. Like I said, Maruga does not have a weak to fire types, but I don't have the ability to have a water move on it. So, that's... I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. It's, it's 12.42 on January, on uh, it's February the 7th when recording this, so keep that in mind. Yeah, um, it's also week two flying types, but um, I'm gonna use Venishaw, I can win. So, but, like, so keep that in mind when you're trying to build a team. Look what types are week two, see if you can make moves that are effective against it. There goes Maria. That's not good, because that means it gets no experience, and it's dead. And I don't have a revive for it, so we will have to probably go back to a Tardis City and heal. We're gonna send down Bonsai here. 
Bonsai is way overleveled anyway, so it's going to win this in one shot. Bonsai is awaiting your directions. Use Tackle because I don't want to waste the PP of other moves. There goes a quick claw, gain its, move, gain its work in. Makes, it, makes me go first and attack. Starly's out. Alright guys, I'll be back. Well, let's see what this what this lady has to say and how much money she has to give us. Rail leveled up, even though I didn't need to. Salute Taunt. Uh, no, that makes it so, um... That makes it so if you use it, the Pokemon against you cannot use any non-damaging moves. It has to use a damaging move. So it makes it only attacking. So if you have a Pokemon that you're going against that is really good at setting up, or really good at, like... Well, the Toxic Spikes worked. It's okay. I think it didn't work on Skunting, because I think it's immune to it. It's the same with, uh, Rum... Rosa Raid, so keep that. That was, um, very effective. That was, that was a very effective move. I did that on purpose, obviously, guys. Faster than normal, thanks to a Twit Claw, and it's faster than the Ponyta. Go Claw again, it's working. It's, I swear it's not this common. Flame Charge, okay. But yeah, we're gonna go back and heal after we battle Nicole here, and, um, yeah. So when I developed this team, I did look at the Pokemon. <coughs> Sorry. I ate something before this because I was hungry, and it's 11 o'clock at night. Um, I did use, I did look at the Pokemon I wanted to use for this playthrough before I even knew if they were attainable in the game or not. Because I was like, oh, it's, it's just a 14 remake, they're going to be attainable easily. Nope, they just completely destroy you if you want a certain Pokemon, because some Pokemon only attain with the National Dex, but you need to beat the game to get that. Because there's certain Pokemon you need to see in the after game to get it. And then you can actually see these new Pokemon, because you can't actually see the new Pokemon until you can get it. Which makes no sense to me. Anyway, um, I'll be back when we're done healing. Alright guys, we're back in between Psyche and Rove. The scientist here looks tired. Long nine toes see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am? I'm Professor Rowan's assistant, Don's father. I've come a long way at the behest of Professor to help you on your adventure. Ty, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? You met 41 Pokemon. Wonderful, yes, bravo. Professor Rowan should be delighted. Here's something for you. He gives you a rare candy. That will raise a Pokemon by one level. I do not recommend using these until you're at the end of the event and end of your adventure, because as a Pokemon is leveling up from the beginning, uh, he's also saying that if a Pokemon's too high level and a trade it may disobey you, that's why I'm not using a like hit. Also, a like hit is way too high level for my move. This is the fact that Quentin progressed in the game before he was able to catch a like hit. So, I'm able to catch Magby at my level, though, because of I'm in Pearl, not Platinum. I mean, I'm in Pearl, not uh, Diamond. But, he gives you a rare candy. I do not recommend, like I said, using those till the end of your adventure, because they don't exactly give the stats the same as a level up would be since it's instant. Also, keep in mind, if your Pokemon's very close to a level up, uh, any experience it has on it will be lost when you do use the rare candy. I don't know if they fixed that in this game or not. I'm pretty sure they didn't though, because I think it's the same throughout all the games. So, continue that down on Cycling Road. Our Pokemon are completely healed. We're going mega fast though. This person we've already battled. You've already battled Nicole. This person right here, I do want to battle though. See if you can ride it properly. I mean, I've been I've rode a shift bike. It may have been 14 when I learned how to do it, but that don't change me from still riding it. <laughs> I don't ride it to work. I have a truck now I drive, so that's not going to be bad. Sends out a Starly. I don't want to set up against this thing because I don't think I can kill it in a hit. I'm almost certain I can't kill it in a hit. <laughs> Unless Venishock does its work. Venishock is super effective, or it's normally effective. Quick attack. Not going to do much. Did, yeah, 4 damage, so we're good. Venishock, however, is going to win for us. Yeah, the problem with this game, I also said, like I said, is that sometimes... Um, there you go, Starly's out. Sometimes the Pokemon that you battle after the gym leader, in order to actually beat the gym leader to progress, they're they're lower level. So Barugas also has a toxic plate. So my Pokemon are at a higher level than they should be. Staravia, the evolved form of Staraptor, or Star Staraptor is the fully evolved form. It's evolved form of Starly. Remember, the, like I said, this family is not bad. It's very good and intimidates the ability you want on it. So if you catch one with the other ability, which I believe is Keen Eye, prevents accuracy loss. I mean, both both are very good, just Intimidate's the more favorite of the two, just based on what it is. Now that I think about it, I should use Toxic Spikes, if it's poisoned, I can set up with that and then use Venishock. Very good, very good on that. I don't know what that means, game, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna use Bite though, I think that's gonna be able to take it out, yeah, there we go. Come on, game, you gonna be like that? I'm gonna use Bite again, it's gonna use Double Team, but that's just gonna make it evasive to Ruse, which means... Moves that are now 100% accurate are no longer truly 100% accurate. They are lowered because it's evasiveness rose. Evasiveness, look it up. But Staravia fainted. Star Starly is also fainted. I think that's the end of this person's battle. Yep, Cyclist John. I crashed. I, I crashed. He didn't have to shift. He didn't know how to break. Because those are two different things, buddy. So we're going to continue on down. There's a Cyclist right there. We'll battle him later. I'm not going to battle him on camera. There's a lot of people I'm going to battle off camera. 
just out of just because I don't want to have to show it on camera. And now that we're on Route 206, I want to get off my bike. Also, the music that the bike has, I think they did it different. I want to get off my bike because I don't actually use my bike to travel like most people do. But I would like to go down here. We can just cut on this. And if we go down here and we travel correctly, we should be able to avoid grass for a little bit, not the entire route. I think here we're going to use cut. Found a full heal. That will heal all status problems on a Pokemon, but it's a single use item, so keep that in mind. It's also man made. <laughs> Come on, got through the grass, got through the grass. Honey tree right there, you want to use, you may want to use it, you may not want to use it, but there's an item over here that I need to run into a wild Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> Ponyta. Remember, one of the only fire types in the actual game without trading or anything like that. Maruga is not badly hurt. Is it in yellow health? No, it's not. It's at, it's at four. It, the, the quick attack was the only thing that actually got a hit in because everything else it used was um not effective. There's a team right here. A burn heal. Heals burn. Like I said, we've seen that happen. Have we? No, I don't think we actually have. There's a hiker right there that will battle you. Can I stop running in a wild Pokemon? Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know you could fight it in the grass. I'm going to be completely honest. I want to catch this for my team. I wanted to catch a Bronzor when I made this team. Bronzor is a Steel Psychic type, and it has two abilities. Both are very good. It just depends on which one you want. So the first ability is Levitate. It gives full immunity to ground type moves. The second one is a uh, heat proof halves the damage from fire type moves you're maybe asking yourself well magma obviously you're going to choose the one with levitate right full immunity over half damage um actually i'm not quick ball right away four times the catch rate on the first chance and that's what i wanted all right i'm enjoying that bronzor yes i wanted this i didn't know you could find it in the grass i think i had to find it in the cave we're going to go to the cave because there's something in there i want there's actually a lot of things in there I want, and we're going to be going over those when we get there. Bronze Pokemon. X-ray photos were taken to check its body structure, but nothing was... That's... Okay, yeah. Bronzor, if you don't know how it evolves, I'm not going to spoil it. Otherwise, this is not going to make sense at all. But if you do know how it evolves, then you're going to be... You're going to be thinking to yourself, Oh, you're from America, and that is 100% sure I am from America, so keep that in mind. But Liberty is going to be its name. English... U.S. Yeah, I'm in the U.S. Plus. Okay. <laughs> Set it to your party. So let's see what this ability this thing has. Because if it has the wrong ability, I don't. I need to catch a different one, and I'm sad that I have to do that. Please have heat proof. I checked Baruga for the ability I wanted earlier. Check summary. It's got levitate. I do not want that. I need to find another bronze ore. I'll be right back when we do that. Alright guys, I ditched it because the cave actually has a higher encounter rate for bronze ore, so we're gonna be searching around in here. Um, as you can see, nothing can be seen. That's because we do not have flash. I don't think we can even have flash this early in the game. I'm not entirely sure on that, but it's actually required to get it in the original game. Come on. Nope. Okay. Like I said, we'll be back when we find bronze. Alright, guys. We are back after like 20 minutes of Zubat. <laughs> I'm using a quick ball on this thing. Please have the ability I need you to have. You may be thinking to yourself, Magma, why do you want heat proof of a levitate? Heat proof only halves the damage of fire type moves while levitate gives you full immunity. Um, well, to be fair, I know this game, and we deal with fire type more often than ground type. And I have Pokemon that can deal with ground type, so keep that in mind. Yeah. You gain experience of catching a Pokemon, yes. We're gonna name it the same thing, because I just wanted to have the ability I want. I want heat proof. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Magma, there's a way to change the ability if you decide later on in game that you don't need that. I'm like, yeah, after you beat the game, there is, but I don't wanna, like, I'm trying to give the team before I even challenge the Elite Four, like, everything it needs. Okay, now that we're saved, um, that's the wrong button. I keep on pressing plus, jumbled up my head. All right, let's see what this Liberty has. Nope, not that, not, not Maruga. You're good, Maruga. Check summary. It's also got Levitate. Are you kidding me? We'll be back when we find the extra bronzer we want. Very next encounter, and mind you, third time's the charm, as they say. Checking the line to see if we can even have heat proof in this game. Like I said, they changed a bunch of weird stuff, so. Alright, let's see where it is. Description. Yeah, it can't have both in this game. I'm checking the official wiki, so. What my friends use. So, that's two quick balls down. I want to catch thing in a quick ball because it complements it well. I just think the blue with the, with the, like, cyan that it has on it is nice. I'm color deficient, so if you didn't know that, now you do. Color deficiency is like a mild form of color blindness, but if two colors are closely related, I can't tell the difference. The quick ball looks like it blends in with the ground with the stripes on it, so that's how bad that is. Yes, 
again, we name it Liberty. Because if you don't know how this thing evolves, well, if you don't know what this thing looks like when it evolves, I recommend you look it up if you want to be spoiled. If you don't want spoilers, we'll explain it. <laughs> okay. Please have the ability I want. Third time's the charm. Check summary. Have heat proof. Have heat proof. Have heat proof. Yes! Okay. We can go back to cycling in the right area if I can find the cave. I'll be back once we deposit the ones we don't want in the PC and keep the one we do. Alright guys, we're back on... Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back one around because I just ran into one before I started the recording, so... Move. Nope, we're gonna swap you to the front. Liberty gained one level off of that, and it knows Confuse right off the bat, which is what I wanted. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Magma, what are you gonna show us this time? Well, there's this item right here that I'm gonna show you. There's a few more things on this route that you cannot find otherwise, and if it would let me pick it up. I'm pressing A on it, and it's not letting me pick it up. That scares me. There we go, Super Repel, which is the upgrade of a regular Repel, and more effective than the Max Repel, which is later in the game, but still more effective. Yes, I would like to use another one. Alright, I think there's something else down here as well. Yeah, there's these parries you want to pick. There's these Ross parries, and there's a little secret that they actually hid with the 3D in the original game on this, because in the original game, you just had the 2D with the, 3D with the third generation and one screen. Now we have the dual screen, why right, it's called the BS. And you could work, you could work with 3D graphics at that point because the engine could run them. So keep on. We already battled this hiker too. I actually battled him when looking for a bronzer earlier in this video, but that's not important. Don't want to. If you saw right there, we got to cut him a little bit. Yes, I'm one step away from whatever this is. Poison barb that raises the power of poison time moves. We have the toxic plate, which does effectively the same thing. But if we do this right. There we go. Cave entrance. Right under there. Oh, we're thinking to yourself, Magma, I don't have flash. And you need strength to move that. Okay, that was not in the original game. It was, excuse my ignorance, but we're going to keep on going out. And go to the actual Wayward Cave and use Rock Smash on it. <laughs> There's a ton of good items in Wayward Cave, and you need the bike to get them. Which you might be asking yourself, that's pretty dumb. Well, that's the way the game is made, because you actually need the bike to get to this place. So, yes. Wild B -doop. Why does it say a wild B -doop? I have a rock smash on my team. <laughs> move right past those. We move on to this side of the cave. And. Can't move anywhere. Okay, where is it at? Yep, there's a rock right there that we would also like to break. Can I move on, or is this just like an infinite loop that I'm just stuck in? <laughs> I know there's an entrance somewhere around here. I bet you this is another rock. Yeah. We got a battle coming into this. Good thing Torterra is in the front. I forgot all Pokemon gain experience. So used to the fourth generation. Last Cassidy is in a Baneri. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the basement of this, of this floor or this of this of this cave because there's some uh, something that I want down there. <laughs> With one another, that's weird. <laughs> Quick attack! No, I don't care. I just want to get through the cave, please. you faded because it's not exactly the strongest thing out there and doesn't tank anything. My team is more or less going to be on the tanky slash, going to be able to dish out high damage. She's crying now. Well, well not me, because I beat you, so... Another trainer. Can I just cut these out? <laughs> Can I please do that? <laughs> Alright, we got Youngster Wayne. That's a nice name. Wayne's in that badoof. <laughs> Why don't all these young youngsters generally have like Pokemon that just aren't evolved or just aren't good? <laughs> so far, I don't think I've battled one of all Pokemon unless it's Staravia. Or you count gym leaders when I'm counting like trainers, which technically are gym leaders, but a little bit different. So this is gonna be a one shot. Yep, not so. And a critical hit wishing to be praised. I don't know what that does. I don't know what this, all these cues in this game are. I don't know what they are. You think I know that? No, of course not. Okay. 
We got experience. Gonna move that down just a little bit. Experience. Everybody's getting experience. Next one, about Sinnoh Zubat. We'll keep current Pokemon because I could probably kill it in a hit with Liberty because it's super effective. But that Zubat we killed is level 15. This one's level 14, lower level. Probably should have not done that. I'd avoided it. What? <laughs> I know it's only 95 accuracy, but still, that's that's pretty high out of 100. <laughs> It's a 5% chance out of like 5 out of 100 hits to not work. <laughs> it's normally effective and it's still a one shot though. We're fine. What is it doing? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Can I put an XP block on my Pokemon so only one gets it? Can I do that? <laughs> Liberty is also genderless, so keep that in mind. Uh, we'll keep. I feel like Bite's gonna do more, but I don't know. Take what? Why is this thing faster than me? Where's my quick call at when I need it? <laughs> Attack, defense, bite is physical, so it's been lowered. Of course, okay. Yeah, okay, just use Razor Leaf and have the quick call actually work. Of course. Razor Leaf's special though, so I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> Is that the only thing this thing can do? Amy Palm's not exactly good. I used one in my Emerald, in my, my end old randomizer Nuzlocke. Thank you. I don't know what all these cues are. I don't know what they are. <laughs> I think that means my its affection is raising with me, like it's a happiness stat. Some Pokemon do evolve by happiness, so keep that in mind. We're gonna go to level 24 as well. <laughs> knock off. Yes, I do want that. Okay, knock off is a physical dark type move. That does, it has 65 power. Bite is also physical and has 60 power. But it may be a flinch. Knock off if the opponent has a held item. Most Pokemon in this game have held items. Keep that in mind. So it could be any head on him too. It's not just, but even on its own, it's still stronger. So, as I've forgotten knockoff instead, there is a stronger dark time move coming up. This wasn't it. I just didn't intend to learn at this level. You were just toying with me. No, I was actually trying to win. <laughs> just want to find the exit to this cave now and see if I can find Rock Smash. Yes, thank you. Where's the basement of this cave at? Is it gonna tell me or not? Oh, there's an item right here. 32 double team, very good item because that's like I said, raises your evasiveness and it, you, there's some very, if you use that enough, no lie, you won't, you, like literally the Pokemon cannot attack you because it just can't hit you because it can't see you. <laughs> I'm burning through all my repels looking for the basement entrance to this cave. Give me one minute on this, please. <laughs> I know it's this way, I just need to figure out where this way is. Another rock we have not broken yet. More trainers? Fine. That one I can't even see, so that makes no sense. Double double in the double battle with Liberty and <laughs> okay, Razor Leaf can attack both. We'll just heal up. <laughs> Still have all those. No, I actually used them all. Now that I think about it, Cascoon and Cascoon. This is that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I'll enjoy that. Yeah, it still shows the Pokeball animation of whatever Pokemon you caught the Pokemon with, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, we're gonna use Razor Leaf. No, we're not actually. Bite is normally effective, so I think we're going to do that, because these things only know to harden anyway, so, and we're going to use, um, Confusion on this one, Silken. Yeah, because they're only going to know harden, so they're actually not going to be able to attack me. <laughs> oh, so they actually know a move. Why are you attacking Bonsai like that? Bon- is it- I- it's- Shouldn't take that stupid berry off, I'm dumb. <laughs> razor Leaf, nope, I do not want to use that. I want to use Razor Leaf because it'll knock out the Cascoon, and then I'm going to use Liberty's turn to give a berry to my thing. Feature Berry, use this item, and catch a berry. Gonna raise it up, it's poisonous, yes, and use Razor Leaf to knock out the Cascoon. And so can use half. So we should be good now. 
Yep, Liberty's level 60 now. Gi yes, okay, okay. Liberty, or er, Bronzor, sorry, is a very, very, very slow Pokemon. Gyro Ball sends a super strong spas spinning ball of steel at the opponent. The slower the user compared to the target, the greater the move's power. Bonsai's speed is abysmal. Bronzor's speed is abysmal. So keep that in mind. If the Pokemon wonders any move, uh, the Imprison isn't gonna be used in my playthrough. It's more or less like if, let's say, you have a Pokemon and you'll have like the same move set. If you use Imprison, you can't use any moves inside the prison because you lock off any move that the opponent also knows. Dust Ox? That's the evolved form of Cascoon. See, this is the this is the thing I like about the game. They actually like thought about what they were doing when they did this. <laughs> no, I didn't want to run. <sighs> okay, Bite is gonna be effective, normally effective on Dust Ox. Battle, Gyro Ball is gonna be super. It's gonna be normally effective, but still, it's gonna it, the, the, since I'm the slowest Pokemon I think on the field, it's gonna be fine. Confusion. On Bonsai's taking hits for for Liberty here. Liberty used Gyro Ball. Yep, that didn't do nothing. I think it's it's okay. They said if it goes last in the original game, not compared to the target. And Silkun's I don't think Silkun's um, speed is high anyway. You just lowered my speed, so Gyro Ball is gonna do more damage now. Thank you. <laughs> Razor Leaf on that one. Battle Gyro Ball on Dustox. Because Raised Leaf's not gonna knock out that Silk, they're not gonna have, it's gonna knock out that Silcoon. The speed also fell, which is good. Bonsai used Razor Leaf. Knock out the Silcoon. Silcoon fainted. You gotta send out Beautiful Eye next. The Evolve from Silcoon. This is a battle that's taking too long. Bonsai is also level 25. He needs to stop battling and start sending Maruga in. Come on. Dude, that did a lot more damage. Because my speed is now lowered. Alright, battle, raise a leaf to knock out the dust ox, battle, confusion is super effective on Beautifly, so, well, no on dust ox, because it's a psychic type, but, oh, there goes my quick fly activating, so, dust ox is out, so that's the reason I attacked the Beautifly instead, but still, it'd be fine. Critical hit on the dust ox, even though I probably didn't need it, may I may have needed it for like two seconds, but still didn't think I did. Liberty's also level 17. <laughs> By you gusts on Bonsai's taking hits for Liberty here. Liberty has not been attacked this entire one. Liberty used confusion too, so we're, we're fine. Didn't do as much as I thought it would. Need a really good attacking move. Bite. It's gonna be well. That's still gonna affect it, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Payback should be just do 50 power. Which Arrow Ball does one if it ha if it has no modifiers, but that's okay. Bronzor's speed is like it's, it's it's so it's just so bad. It's like lower than the actual stat of any other Pokemon in the game, which is saying something. <laughs> okay. Yep. Thank you. So we're both trainers. That's a start, right? Mm -hmm. I said I'm going to win. Yeah, you said you were. There's a difference between saying and doing, sir. <laughs> There's another item. Rare candy, like I said, already explained that one. I'm trying to get Earthquake and it's not working. <laughs> Cause there's there's a, the team for Earthquake is in this cave. I know it is. Uh, you know where's my phone at? Yeah, my phone's almost dead, but I'm gonna do what I can with what I got left. All right, go to go to the site that I use where I have all my notes. I'm looking at the wrong move, first of all. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, go to my notes, because I have notes for different areas of the game, this one's not the same. And I didn't do spoilers for this because I wanted my effects to be genuine. Do I have an escape rope on me? Because this would be a lot easier if I do. I don't think I do. I do not. Okay, let's see if I can figure out where I am based on what I just found. Well, we're in the back half of this cave. <laughs> Should be a rock up here that we smashed earlier. Yep, gonna go right through that. 
and that I actually have the guide in front of me because this cave there was only one floor in the original game. Because actually, in order to access where I, what I was gonna do for this, you actually need to have strength. You did not need that in the original. How is this Brock back already? Eh, good thing it's a hit, one hit move. There should be something down here though that I'm going to use immediately. <laughs> it is an escape rope can't even get earthquake yet I just realized so that is actually this cave is unaffected to us because there was no strength boulders in the original game so I assumed we could get it Rossberry also um, the Pokemon holds it can burn that's what the other one that does burn can we use that so I can get out of here Alright guys, I think we're going to end, end the episode off there. If you did enjoy, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. In this episode, we got out of Eternity City, got on our bicycle, explored a new route, got some helpful items, got a team, new team member, and got some levels. Next time, we'll be continuing on in Cycling Road, going down. It's going to look very familiar once we get there, but there's something there that we need to do that I need to show you guys for um, Let's Play purposes. So until next time, guys, keep the level flowing, and goodbye.